and more corruption in Louisiana police departments. This next story comes from Tensaw Parish, filed by a reporter at KTVE in Monroe. The board of aldermen in the town of Waterproof has voted to fire the town's embattled police chief, Miles Jenkins, amidst allegations of abuse of power. But that's just one of the town's recent problems. They don't stop there. This week, the phones at Town Hall are temporarily disconnected, and the town's water could be next if they don't resolve these issues soon. Also, the town's money is tied up in a legal entanglement. Here's the story. Waterproof residents are fed up with their town's leadership. I have lived here 40 years of my life, off and on, and I've never seen this. I've seen four of the mayors. I've seen problems with water, problems with streets, uh, nothing to this magnitude. This is horrifying. In one month, the town council has fired Mayor Bobby Higginbotham and Police Chief Miles Jenkins. Both men are facing felony charges for malfeasance in office and paying illegal bonuses to police, among other things. The council says many residents have complained that Jenkins is abusing his authority and harassing them. Uh, basically, he uh, just been harassing our family. He's pulled me over with my kids in the car. He's pulled his gun out while my kids in the car. Right now, state police are investigating Jenkins for pulling people over outside of his jurisdiction. They are also looking into a recent accident where he crashed his squad car during a high-speed chase. Right here, you can still see the tire marks and damage done to this pole when police chief Miles Jenkins ran into it Saturday night. Johnson says Jenkins started harassing his family after the mayor fired his sister, a police dispatcher. Teresa Stampley says she told auditors about Jenkins' misdealings. I was asked some questions. Um, from some auditors about some things that were going on as far as him getting paid um, fees and monies for uh, tickets and quotas that were written. I simply told the truth as I was asked, and um, he's kind of had it out for me ever since. Patrolman Mac Melton says he still thinks of Jenkins as his boss and that people have the wrong idea about him. The chief goes beyond his duties to stick up for the people of the town of Waterproof. The mayor, chief, and council are all hoping the court will help them sort out the mess they all blame each other for creating. And a footnote to this story, both the mayor and the police chief say the council does not have the authority to fire them in the first place, so the mayor will take the council to court and ask the judge to reverse their decision. He says they'll also try to work out who should have access to the town funds so they can catch up on their bills.